Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new and if you are new don't forget to click the subscribe button to join my YouTube family but today is going to be another hair video in which I will leave my life hacks DIY playlist down below for you guys but today I am going to do a whole video around castor oil DIY hair mask so I recently did a whole video around castor oil hacks so I will link that above and down below and you guys seem to love that so I thought I would share with you my favorite DIY hair mask with the main ingredient being castor oil. They're super easy to make and trust me, you will notice a difference in your overall hair health. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at NicoletaXOYT. Comment down below any hair issue that you guys have. And on that note, let's just jump right into the masks. Of course, the main thing that you are going to need is Jamaican black castor oil. This is probably one of the best things for hair growth and for your hair in general. It has amazing benefits for the hair and scalp, especially for hair growth boosting ability. Jamaican black castor oil is also great because it is filled with powerful antioxidants and nourishing nutrients that feed the hair follicles and foster growth of new hairs. It contains vitamin E, protein, minerals, and omega-6 fatty acid. Jamaican black castor oil also has strong antibacterial, antifungal, and antimicrobial properties. For the first DIY mask, all you're going to need is the castor oil because we are going to do a hot oil treatment. So all you have to do is pour oil into a heat safe jar, and then you're going to place the jar into a bowl and pour your hot water. All you have to do is wait a few minutes for the oil to heat up. I typically wait around two to four minutes before I go ahead and apply it to my hair. By warming up the oil, it will make it more effective and easier to work with. And this will allow to provide moisture to dry hair. So I definitely recommend heating up oil this way as opposed to putting it into the microwave. Hot oil treatments are amazing because they really penetrate deep into the scalp and nourish the hair to the max so I just rubbed it into my scalp and massaged it in and then I put the excess all over my hair to really help moisturize the rest of my dry damaged hair but the hot oil treatment is an easy go-to hair treatment that only requires the castor oil and it does wonders to your hair. So once I put the oil all over my hair, I just went ahead and put my hair into a low bun and then applied a shower cap. And I usually like to let this sit in for a few hours. So if your hair is super damaged and dry, you can even do this mask once a week or if you want, you can even just do it once a month, but I always like to go back to this mask. It makes it just so soft and shiny as well. For the next DIY mask, all you're going to need is your Jamaican black castor oil. And I just put one tablespoon of the castor oil into a small bowl. You could put a little bit more if you want. It just depends how much hair you have. And then I went ahead and put two to three drops of peppermint oil into the mixture and just mixed it all together. Once I had it, I just applied it to my scalp, really massaging it into my scalp. And this is an amazing DIY treatment if you're trying to really boost for hair growth. I let this treatment sit for two hours before going ahead and washing it out. So these two oils, the castor oil and the peppermint oil, really help complement each other well to really heal and rejuvenate both the hair and the follicle. So this is really gonna help to promote hair growth and I use this whenever I'm really trying to grow my hair out. The third DIY hair mask is a hair growth gel. So all I did is I took one tablespoon of castor oil and I put about three tablespoons of aloe. You could put three to four tablespoons into the bowl, really depending how much you want to make. Once you put all of the aloe into your small bowl, then you just have to go ahead and pour eight drops of lavender oil. Once you have your mixture, mix it all together and then apply it to your hair. So I just applied it all over on my scalp and even brought it down throughout my entire hair. This is super amazing if you have an itchy scalp or if you have dandruff problems, 
Plus, it's really great for scalp inflammation and it's also going to help grow your hair. It is cooling and soothing for the scalp while growing your hair. This mixture is also really great to help prevent hair loss. So if you deal with that, definitely try this hair growth gel. And like all my masks, I really like to have it sit in for a couple hours or a few hours. And the last DIY mask is also really great for hair growth. All you're going to need is two tablespoons of your castor oil. Put that into a small bowl. And the second ingredient for this hair mask is onion juice. So I'm gonna show you a way that I get onion juice without having a juicer. So all you have to do is chop up your onions and blend it all together. And then all I did once it was blended was I put it into a nut milk bag and squeeze the juice out of the onion. Definitely do not wear makeup when you do this process because I was honestly crying from the onions, but that is how I get the juice out of my onion without having a juicer. And once I did this, I put two tablespoons of onion juice back into the bowl where my castor oil is and mixed it all together. The onion is really great because it is loaded with a variety of nutrients and fatty acids that are essential for hair growth. It also has very high sulfur content that really helps improve blood circulation in the scalp, regenerate hair follicles, and reduce scalp inflammation. So once I had my mixture, I just went ahead and applied it all over my hair and also focusing it, of course, on the scalp because of course, if you wanna also grow your hair, you need to focus on making your scalp healthy and really stimulating your scalp. So once I had my mixture, I just put my hair into a bun and put a shower cap on and let that sit for a few hours before I went ahead and washed it completely out. You wanna make sure that you're washing all the oil out because you don't want your hair to be greasy. But those are the four DIY castor oil hair masks. Trust me, try one of them out. They are amazing. My hair always feels so soft and looks shiny whenever I do any of these masks. That is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys try one of them out. Like I said, don't forget to comment down any of your hair issues that you guys are going through so I could do a whole video around that. And don't forget to click the subscribe button. I do upload every single week. And on that note, I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye.